Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to use JavaScript to disable a submit button on submit. So essentially what we're trying to achieve here is when you click on the submit button for a form, while it's processing, you know, calculating taxes or whatever it has to do, uh, the button is disabled so that they can't click on it a second time. You know, if, if, if that's possible, sometimes if if the form is processing credit cards, for example, the charge might go through twice, that kind of thing. So this is going to help uh, alleviate that issue. So uh, first of all, we start with our form, of course. So we have a form opening and closing tag uh, within which we have our you know, name and email address uh, fields. But what we want to concentrate on for this tutorial are these two areas here. So one is the submit button itself all right so that's an input uh, of type submit you have here type submit right and it has an on click event which is calling a do on submit function that we create ourselves uh, that's where the script goes uh, value here submit form is just the text that goes onto the button right and the button has an id so that uh, it can be identified properly uh, and detected in the script okay now um actually these this bit here is superfluous so and above that button we have a some bold text so to the opening bold tag we have added an id right? uh, submit notice right here's the closing tag and within uh, that bolded text, we've put a span because we want to be able to give that a different style. Um, and you'll you'll see how that all fits together very shortly. So uh, let's just go ahead and before we look at the other bits, we'll click on submit the form. This little alert comes up, which is emulates the actual processing. It puts a delay in here so that we can see uh, what happens. The button has disappeared, right? So course if it's if it if it's hidden like that it can't be clicked right so that's one great way to disable the button and it's been replaced by a notice you know now submitting please wait right so of course that text can be adjusted the styles can be adjusted but the idea here is that there's not even a button for them to frustratingly click on right it's just a friendly notice saying things are happening please give us some time so uh, now when I click OK everything resets because there's no action here for the form it's blank which means it just calls the page that it's on and so it's basically refresh the page here so let's look at the JavaScript that goes with this HTML so here is that do on submit function okay so you start off with the keyword function you give it the name there's the opening brace and the closing brace down here and everything in between is run when this on click event is called which of course is called when you click on the button right so if we go back to our JavaScript here the first thing we're doing we're setting up a variable which we call our uh, submit button element right and that is equal to document dot get element by ID and in brackets with quotes uh, submit button now submit button if you recall is the ID for the submit button naturally so uh, so that sets this element, this variable, uh, to uh, identify with that element. And then we can use that variable to set the uh, style called display, the, the, the display CSS style, to none. And that's what makes the button disappear. So you, the, you click on the button, do on submit is run, and we tell the style, we update the style of the button the display style to none and the button disappears now the uh, in the CSS our submit notice right which is the ID here for our bolded uh, text right in the CSS for the page has already been set to none so it's initially hidden but in the JavaScript what we're doing you know we create our variable submitting note and we associate that with the submit notice 
again, a get element by ID. The case, the case, I believe, it's important here. So you have to make sure that the capitals are where they are, right? Um, so we we associate that with the variable, and then again, uh, the display style we're adjusting, right, for the submitting note, and we're putting that to inline, which is the default style for a bold tag, right? The, the default display style. So uh, that makes the submitting notice appear. So the button disappears, the submitting, the submit notice appears, the button's disabled, the friendly message is there. So then, uh, as I said earlier, this alert actually replaces the meat of your own um, processing, which may actually take place within the do on submit, or it may just take place, uh, you know, uh, within PHP or uh, whatever other um, technology that you're using so uh, there's there's often delays right well uh, credit card numbers for example are sent to uh, the, the merchant account and verified or not so so this is why uh, you know we, we there's the button would just sit there and maybe for up to 30 seconds or something you don't want to click 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 uh, so this just emulates that delay that would naturally be there with your script and if there is no delay no worries uh, they just won't have time to read the little notice the the form will have moved on and there's no chance for them to hit the button anyway so uh, and it returns false um, which allows the submit button to uh, just do its normal thing which is uh, call this action up here uh, which would be generally something more than the blank here of course uh, and everything would be working as you wish, right? So uh, those are all the elements. You've got the two bits with their IDs, right? The button itself and the submit notice. You've got some CSS uh, to set the submit notice display to none and also uh, to say how that span is going to be formatted, right? So we have we up the font size a little, we color it red, right, so that it looks the way we want, you know, um, when it is displaying, right, of course, it, initially you don't see those. And then here's your JavaScript, do on submit, right, set up your variables, associate them with the elements by ID, and adjust the styles, right. Hopefully this has helped you to figure out how to get control of those submit buttons. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.